Hi, Malcolm from Bascool.com here. Um, this video is to answer a few questions we've had recently about um, the pace setback cubbies and how the tips fit into the hand pieces. I've got set up here a Pace ST30 um, with a setback cubby. Now, a setback cubby is designed to pull the tip, tip, tip temperature down while um, it's not in use. So as you can see here, the tip temperature is sitting at 160, 170 degrees. I'll just pull her out there and I've got a K-type thermocouple set on to this tip temperature monitor. Now I'm just going to sit it there and you can see that that tips nearly up to 150 degrees which is where I've got it set in a very short period of time. So what's the idea of this? For um, a technician who is not constantly soldering, um, to extend tip life you can have the tip sitting there at a lower temperature while you're doing something else. But it comes back very very quickly. So I'm just going to, that wasn't actually sitting in there properly, I just had it sitting there. So I'm just going to sit it in there and that's now activated the micro switch in there that will bring that tip temperature down. It doesn't come straight down, um, it gives you about 30 seconds so if you are doing quick work you, the tip temperature is maintained but if it's sitting there for a while it comes down. So we'll just wait for that to happen because it takes about 30 seconds. Now while that's doing that the other thing that I wanted to talk about was how easy it is to change the tips in a TD100 handpiece. Now they simply slide in. Um, I'll just hold that there. You can see the high spot on the side of that on the top there that locates in the groove and they simply slide in and that tip is now ready to use. Now when you're actually changing tips I don't recommend using your hands like that. What is supplied is a little piece of rubber type stuff that it, when the tip's hot you don't feel it. So it's a good habit to use um, get into using that. So that's as simple as it is the tip literally just locates in the wee groove and slides in and that tip's ready to use. Now you can see that tip temperature monitor is actually dropping quite quickly there. We've got a red light flashing to say that tip is in the standby situation. So it's quietly cooling off there. While it's cooling off I'll just mention that for that TD100 tip handpiece there's over 40 tips ranging from something that sort of width that's 5.8 millimeters wide that chisel um, down to a nice wee chisel there that's one of our more common ones at 1.5 millimeters lovely wee chisel now the other thing with the pace range is there's all sorts of variations of a similar theme there's that chisel with a bend in it so if you're getting into a tight location you can get the same size chisel but with a with a bend in the end, a heat sink, just something totally different, mini wave tips, there's a nice wee mini wave and as I said there's lots of variations, there's the bent version of that mini wave, that uh, tip now has cooled off while I've been talking and it's just sitting there in that neutral position. I'm just going to activate that tip and show you how quickly it comes back up again. Just sit it in there carefully so I can talk and carry on at the same time watching it coming up. It's nearly up to temperature. There we go. We're ready for work again. So that's how that setback cubby works and how quickly it works. I'll just sit it back down there again so that it's in 30 seconds time it'll cool off. Now that was the mini wave that I was talking about. Now that's a soldering iron tip. That is super fine. That is a 1.1 millimeter chisel. Now if you've got an application for that, isn't that a beautiful looking tool? Just so fine and so delicate. 
we can go to the other end of the range to a blade of that sort of size remember how easy and quickly I changed those out literally you can plug one in and pull the other one out and if you're working with components um, this is the type of tip that you can use if you're working with QFPs, SOICs, any of those sorts of things there's actually special tips that just slide into that same handpiece for that sort of work um, does that one show up? oh yes with the two legs on it so that gives you an idea of what's available there we go that cubby's doing its job there nicely just quietly letting that tip tool down, cool down again so that's how a setback cubby works pop the handpiece in there after 30 seconds the tip cools down down to about 170 degrees when you pull her out you've got two or three seconds maybe five before it's back up to temperature again and these fellas slide in and when they're hot there's a special thing for pulling them out with when you're changing tips make sure you turn the station on and off so just to clarify that if it's sitting there like that and you want to change over to something different turn the station off this handpiece isn't connected to anything turn the station off pull it out and in goes the next tip you need for the next job turn the station back on and you're ready to go I hope that helps with some of the questions that we're getting have a good day